Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we are going to talk about that how to handle authentication pop-ups. What do you mean by this? So you must have seen where you launch the application URL, you are getting username password pop-up like this, where you have to enter the username and then the password. For example, for this application, the username password is admin admin and you click on sign in. When you click on sign, it's saying congratulations, you must have the proper credential. It means uh, you have successfully logged in. So how to handle this? Because if you directly launch this URL with Selenium, sorry, with Selenite, for example, let's see if I'm writing open and uh, here I'm passing this. And after that, let's say I want to capture this particular text. So let's see that, uh, inspect this guy. And this is a configuration something like this or let's see basic authentication or i can take this a div class is equal to example okay so i can take the css selector div uh, example here okay and then i can verify the text of this guy so <clears throat> when you launch this application then i'll say okay fine that uh, uh, dollar and then i'm going to use that by dot css selector this is a CSS selector dot uh, get text method. I'm going to use it and then I'm going to store in a string variable, which is uh, text is equal to this. And then I'm going to write one assert dot assert true over here. It means if this particular text dot uh, contains a specific keyword that is, let's see, for example, congratulations or not. Okay. So let's see, will this work or not? So when you run it through Selenium, when, sorry, when Selenite, Selenite will try to launch this application. And, but here, how will you enter the username password? Because the problem with the, uh, this username password is that, see, now the test got failed here. The problem with this username password is that you cannot, uh, you know, inspect that. There is no uh, XPath or CSS selector or any HTML DOM for that particular authentication pop-up. For example, let me just uh, open it once again. Let me open in an incognito mode somewhere over here and uh, see this carefully once again. Right click on it. There is no inspect. So there is no HTML DOM for this and it's actually freezing the entire page as well. So I cannot like, okay, Selenium uh, or sorry, uh, driver dot find element or dollar dot find element by dot xpath CSS selector. I can use it over here. Same problem in Selenium also. Same problem with Selenite also. So how will you handle this? And then I don't want to use any robot class like uh, or maybe any uh, SQLy kind of options or maybe uh, auto ID kind of option because these things will not work uh, on Docker containers. Tomorrow you want to run your test cases on AWS containers or Docker containers. In that case, on the cloud machine, on the Linux machine, these things, SQLy and Auto IT, these things will not work here, right? In fact, the robot class also will will not work on Mac machine, Linux machine. SQLy might work, but you have to take a lot of resolution images. You have to take it. So those are not the recommended uh, permanent options for that. So how will you handle that? What exactly Selenium says that you have to pass the username password along with the URL. So what you just need to do is that you just need to see this carefully instead of doing this i'm just going to comment it out they have overloaded this open method you can see that there are multiple overloaded methods are available and they have given this method here see this carefully that uh, uh, this here you can pass the main starting point in your test you can pass your uh, url the domain login and the password along with that and it's saying that uh, if browser window was already open, it will be reused. Open a browser window with the given URL and credentials for the basic authentication. So what kind of authentication it is? It is a basic authentication. And it's saying if not starting with HTTP or HTTPS or file, it is considered to be relative or URL, which is fine. And then we just need to pass certain parameters over here. So what is your uh, absolute URL? So this is my absolute URL actually that I'm going to pass over here okay as such we don't have any domain so let me write in the okay let me write in the next line we don't have any domain so i'm just making it a blank string what is the login login means a username its username is admin and the password is also admin whatever if your username is also having add the rate key okay uh, a special character or something like this it will work here because we are not appending admin and admin123 along with the url over here that is what we used to do in in selenium 
but in selenite we don't need to append it over here you can directly pass admin admin like this and let's see then it's working or not so i'm just going to run as a test ng and this time you will observe that it will not show the authentication pop-up it will directly log in and then it will display that message congratulations or something like this and then the test is absolutely working fine over here right i'll see i'll show you once again i'll do one thing that uh, i'll put a thread dot uh, sleep here for uh, five seconds so that at least the it will give you the you know the page for the five seconds and then it will capture the text and then it will assert so i'll do one thing that i'll just print this particular text also and let's see if it is working or not See this time it will not show you any authentication pop-up. In fact, in the URL also you will not see admin admin over here. And it's saying congratulations, you must have the proper credential. And which is absolutely working fine. And on the console also you can see that, yeah, it's printing this particular message over here. Perfect. Now, this method can be used for, let's see, let's take one more uh, method with some other parameter. It's saying you can pass the URL parameter also so earlier what we have seen we have seen the string parameter for the url that we have used if you really want to pass as a url parameter that also you can do that so for example it's saying that url object reference you have to pass it means you have to create the new url object like this not reference sorry and then i'm just passing the url over here so this is my url that is you have to pass in the form of url object like this domain name we don't have any domain name if you have any certain uh, domain name you can write it otherwise it's compulsory to pass to so just pass a blank string your login is again admin and the password is also once again admin over here and then i'm going to comment it out these this guy and let's see with the, this also it's working or not so it's capital url which is coming from the java.net package just import that and then it will give you one suggestion that uh, uh, what if any malford url uh, exception is coming so simple add throws a declaration over here or you can add with the try catch block also let's see with this also it's working or not so you can pass the direct string url you can pass the url object also with the string url you can pass this so here yeah this is also absolutely working fine here okay now i'll do one thing that this is working directly on google chrome what if i'll change the browser and let's see on a different browser it is working or not so i'll do one thing that i'll write that uh, okay let's run it on remember that how to set the by default it will run on google chrome but i want to check it is really working on safari or not so i'll write okay system dot set property and remember the key that we were using selenite dot browser if you really want to change the browser and the browser that i'm using is let's see for safari and then we will check it on uh, firefox as well because I'm using Mac machine, so I can check on Safari as well. So selenite.browser, you can use it. With Safari, let's see it is working or not. So run as testng. And uh, see here, it is not working with Safari. It will not work. Okay, see it's, it's giving you the authentication pop-up over here. So with Safari, the solution will not work in that case. So remember, this is a blocker for us. Okay. Okay let me just close this now let's see it is really working with the firefox or not so i'll do one thing for firefox i need to set one uh, geeko driver set property also i can write it because uh, although it will work with the uh, with this option also but i'm having some problem with my firefox so i have to start the uh, configure this geeko driver.exe and then i'm launching this firefox so let's see it is working with firefox or not so i'm going to run it with firefox Okay, Firefox is getting launched and uh, here you can see with the uh, Firefox, it is not giving any pop-up and it's absolutely working fine with Firefox as well and perfect and the test got passed. So what we have observed, we have observed that uh, it's working fine with Google Chrome, working fine with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Firefox, not working with Safari. Then you can try in your laptop, if you are having the Windows machine, you can try with Edge browser or Internet Explorer also, it is working or not. Forget about Internet Explorer, but at least try with the Edge browser, it is working or not, because Edge is also based out of Chrome Dev protocols, Chrome Dev tools, so I think it should work with the Edge browser as well. So this is the 
observation. Uh, this is the simple solution for this. It's very straightforward. And if you really want to debug this, see, I'll show you in the debug mode also. I mean, debug means let's deep dive into this method, what exactly these people are doing actually. So if you go to this method, this open method here, see this method is actually available under selenite.class and see this is a uh, overlo uh, overloaded method, same method name with different parameters. Here it's taking a string parameter, it's taking a URL parameter. And let's call this method now, let's see this open method, which is actually getting called here. And it's giving the method to navigator.open. So let's call this method. And then I really want to check how exactly they're handling this at the rate a special character. Then I'll go to again navigate dot two method. Okay, this is nice. And then uh, driver, this URL, authentication type and the domain. That is what they are passing. So here they are saying, okay, fine. That absolute URL, they are getting it. And then authentication if needed, they are getting it. So let's go to this absolute URL method is absolute URL. Okay, so they are doing some regular expression matching, which is fine that we are not bothered about it. Let's come back and uh, driver dot get check and driver navigate to url fine so i think uh, then they are checking this uh, basic authentication if needed or not if it is needed okay this is what they are doing it and then they are calling this method and then okay now i got it you can see that the password is equal to plus at the rate so remember that in selenium web driver we used to add admin colon admin and then at the rate domain name dot com that we used to write. So here this is what they have written. So this is what the final domain string that appending domain plus login password and the URL that they are appending along with that. And then I think uh, which is absolutely fine here. So this is how they have handled at the rate also. Nice. This is a nice logic we can implement in our uh, Slaney web driver code as well. Okay. So I think this is perfectly fine. That's why they are able to handle tomorrow in your username if you have at the rate one two three or something like this this also work here okay so this is the overall observation overall solution for authentication pop-up if you are having such a certain application where you have to enter the username password in the authentication pop-up while launching the url simply use this a straightforward method either your url you can pass or you can directly pass the url string also you can pass it over here so that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Navigin Automation Labs. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any other issues. I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and God bless you all.